Psalm 136. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of lords. His love endures forever. To him who alone does great wonders, his love endures forever. Who by his understanding made the heavens, his love endures forever. Who spread out the earth upon the waters, his love endures forever. Who made the great lights, his love endures forever. The sun to govern the day, his love endures forever. The moon and stars to govern the night, his love endures forever. He, he remembered us in our lowest state, his, his love endures forever, and freed us from our enemies, his love endures forever. He gives food to every creature, his love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of heaven, his love endures forever. 1 John 4, 9, 12. This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only son into the world that we might live through him. This is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Dear friends, since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God, but if we love one another, God lives in us and his love is made complete in us. Let me just pray. Our Father, please may the words of my mouth and the thoughts of our hearts be pleasing to you. Might we understand your love more this morning and might we respond to it because we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. If you want to do something fun, uh, you can get on the internet and you can type in various uh, different sort of quotes or themes or questions and uh, because of the way the internet works, it will throw up all sorts of pictures that go with your question. So for a little bit of fun, the other day, I typed into the internet a face only a mother could love. I thought that would be good for Mothering Sunday. A face only a mother could love. I apologise if this is you, but here is the picture that came up first of all. Ah, it's, oh, it's very cute, isn't it? I have to say, I'm glad we don't use that phrase anymore. It's not a very nice phrase, is it? A face only a mother could love. But I'm sure if I look back on my life, uh, there were times when uh, I was the sort of person that only a mother could love. In fact, various friends of mine made that abundantly clear to me that there were times when really I was very difficult to love. And on Mothering Sunday, we want to celebrate the special and particular love of a mother. But we also want to see that behind... All human love is a richer and deeper love, a love that comes from God himself. And to help us think about that, I want to think about what are the sort of signs of love. So, for example, there's a footballer, isn't there, who whenever he scores a goal, I think he makes this sign. You'll make that sign, make a heart with your, your hands. I think he does it like that. Does he do it on his, does he do it on here? Down here. Okay, he's got his biology wrong, but anyway, who knows, who knows, who knows which footballer does that? Which footballer does that? Anybody know? I don't think he's played at Brunton Park yet, but when he's 48, we might be able to sign him. William. Is it Ronaldo? I thought it was Gareth Bale, is that right? It's Gareth Bale, brilliant. What are the signs of love? What are the signs? That can be a sign of love, can't it? You know, when you're getting up on stage to do a competition or something and your mum sits down and she goes. <laughs> and you think, the great thing is one person's going to clap at the end, even if it's just my mum. I've always thought to myself, you know, if I ever write a book, at least I'll sell one copy because my mum will go and buy one. What about, what about a hug? That's a sign of love, isn't it? Sometimes what you just need is a hug. And in fact, I remember that my sisters and I used to remember my dad's had a particular jumper. We used to talk about soggy shoulders because it was a jumper that we loved to cry into. You know that time when you could just sit on your 
sit on someone's lap and the world would be right. I'm a bit bigger now, but I still love my dad. We have a hug every time we meet. What other signs of love are there we might do with our hands? What other ones are there? Who can, who can think of one? Yeah, that's a good one, Ethan. That one there, good one. Yeah, that'd be a sign of love, wouldn't it? A kiss, holding of hands. Is everybody needing a coffee this morning? Golly, what other signs of love? Yeah, high five, good one. Okay, what other signs would we do? Oh, heart. Nice one, thank you, Bernice. So, any, any others? Well, I've got three that I think come from our Bible readings today. Three signs of love that we see God's love. Okay, and you'll just see a little thing on the sheet, on the screen there, and it's on the sheet. Please, can I borrow yours, Joe? Is that okay? Sorry about that. You've got it next to you. In that first reading we have, where the everything, everyone said God's love is forever, it says that we see God's love in creation. So one sign you can make is a great big circle. So reaching up super high, biggest circle you can possibly make, really big. Okay? One sort of hand sign you can make of God's love is we see God's love in creation. That's just inside your sheet there. He who alone does good wonders, who by his understanding made the heavens, who spread out the earth upon the waters, who made the great lights, the sun to govern the day, and the moon to govern the night. You see, God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, before creation, all there was, was God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, living in love. And out of that love, that overflowing love, they built a world. They created the world. They didn't have to do it. There was no lack in them. They were perfectly content. One God in three persons, full of mutual love. But their creative love meant that God showed his love in creation. So if you want to know a little bit about God's love, you could do what Andrew Simmons was helping us do earlier. And you could find out just how big the sun is. And just how far away the sun is. And you could think, golly, God's love really is ginormous. And then you'll realize that if you look at the whole universe, the sun is really quite tiddly. It's a very small star compared to some of them. Gosh, God's love really is ginormous. Now, I know some people think that the universe could make itself. The idea that death could give birth to life slightly strange, if you ask me. The Bible says God's love is in creation. So one sign, just to do it again, so remember, God's love is in the size of the creation. It's really, really huge. Okay? But the second thing we saw in the psalm, at the end of the psalm, is we see God's love in history. The psalm writer looks back and says, he's freed us from our enemies, he's remembered us when we're in trouble, and he gives food. So one way you could think about God's love, another sign we're going to do, is a finger pointing forwards and a finger pointing backwards. See if you could do that without dislocating your shoulder. And without looking too like a superhero. Okay? Some people need to go and see shoulder clinics. I'm really worried. But anyway, now, when you do this, if you're five years old, this hand pointing back, there's a few things to be thankful for, quite a few of them, 15,000 days worth or something, 1,500 days worth, and there's lots of years ahead. If you're 85 years old, the, the hands might have a slightly different proportion, but you've got lots of meals to look back on and be thankful for, haven't you? three a day, 365 days a year, and you can insert your own number there. We see God's love in creation, the vastness and the beauty of this world. Some really huge numbers. How long is God's love? We see God's love in our lives, in history, looking back and looking forwards. And as Andrew again reminded us earlier, looking back really to the love at the very beginning that started everything off. So you and I being here now, and with us always. But actually, those two places, I and mean, they're pretty mind-blowing, aren't they? Just to count how many meals you've eaten, that's pretty mind-blowing. To think how big the sun is, that's pretty mind-blowing. But those are not the mind-blowing places where you and I see God's love. We see God's love in Jesus. That's what the second reading said. This is love. Not that we love God, but that he loved us and gave his son as a sacrifice. So the third sign of God's love is this, the cross. So you've got the size of the world. See God's love. You've got looking back and looking forward. See God's love. But most of all, you want to have your mind blown about God's love. 
need to make this sign and look at the cross where Jesus died. This is love. That God loved us and sent Jesus Christ to die for us. The concept behind only a mother could love is that there are some times when we're not naturally lovely. Imagine my mum watching a rugby game where I get substituted at half time. And someone has to stand next to me when I've just been substituted. And at that point, I would imagine I was rather hard to love. The sort of person that only a mother could love. And if you and I are honest about ourselves as human beings, we're not lovely. We have good moments, sure. But the Bible says we're the sort of people that only a loving Heavenly Father could love. And the only way that he could really do it was a way that meant sinners like you and me, perfect people, be changed. And that's why Jesus came to die on a cross. Because Andrew Towner lived a life that only this Heavenly Father could love. And only this Heavenly Father could love Andrew Towner. And the only way he could do it was by sending his son by a cross. So on a day when we celebrate the love that only a mother can give, it's great to recognize all sorts of different ways that we see God's love, but most of all, in Jesus' death on the cross. He sent his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. That meant we could be with him forever. Now, if you want to know more about that, I do encourage you to just grab one of these. We'll give one of these out to all of our guests on the way out and anybody else who wants them. Some really fascinating stories. A couple of little thoughts about what would you do for love. If you remember your um, meatloaf, I would do anything for love. Well, what would you do for love? And what would God do for love? We'd love you to take that away. And in a couple of weeks' time, we'll be starting a little course called Christianity Explored. I think it does what it says on the tin. Uh, We try to explore Christianity together. You might have lots of questions. I guarantee you can't fully answer half of them. But we'd love to try and engage with you with them. The first thing we do with this is write down our questions. And then we try through the course to have a look at what the eyewitnesses say Jesus really said and did. We try to engage with all those questions, the many good questions that people would have about Christianity. It's a really good opportunity to think through life, uh, the universe and everything. Uh, I've done this course in pubs and in prisons, visiting the prisons and not as an inmate. I've done this course in boardrooms and in front rooms and everybody enjoys it. So that might be for you. If you want to know a little bit more about how God could possibly love you, uh, he does. And we'd love to give you an opportunity to ask your questions and to look at what the eyewitness has made of this Jesus because the key place where you and I see God's love is not creation vast as it is is not yours and my history brilliant though that is the key place for you and I to look to know God's love is on the cross and if you'd like to know more about that then you'll be given one of these on the way out and we'd love to help you I'm going to pray and then I'm going to hand over to Andrew Our Father God, as we celebrate love today on Mothering Sunday, thank you that we can look at the vastness of this world and see your love. Thank you that we can look back on our past lives and see the vastness of your love. And thank you that most of all we can look at the cross and see just how big your love is. We pray, our Father, that as we celebrate human love, we will even more celebrate your love that is before and behind it all. And we pray that in Jesus' name. Amen.